Hey everybody, I'm Jennifer, and we travel a lot to Africa and help with clean water. And sometimes you're gonna have the thing called the jigger. Don't be scared. Look it up, it's gonna hurt, but here's how to get it out, okay? I have alcohol down here in this needle. My toes look a little rough, I get it. Is that clear, Michael? Yes. Okay, so now what you do is you're just gonna pop it, and it's gonna get gross. It's gonna pop out of there like a Yuck. That is a jigger removal. And it is going to keep coming out. Ooh, that one's yuck. Ow. So then, let's remove that so we can see what we're looking at. As you can see, there's still a lot of pus in there. So it's going to get grosser for just a minute or two. Because i got to get that bad boy out. Pretty yucky but it will be dead and um and now there's still more pus that's going to come out because that little booger's not all the way out of my toe yet but we're going to get them all the way out and then after this i'll just use epsom salt for a couple of days on my feet i had three um and no, ow, it's not, it does not feel good. I know my toes look thoroughly disgusting, but that's what you get when you're an American African. See all that still coming out? That's still more of like the pus and the larva of its eggs. Because what it does is it puts its butt actually outside of my toe and mates and now I'm going to actually have to cut into my toe. So I have my toenail clippers that are clean. And I'm just going to go for it and get this out. Because I'm done and I'm over it and it's going to hurt. Ow. But now I can at least see into where that little sucker embedded. And it's right there. They, they're bad to get near your, the, your fingernails or your toenails. That part is not clean. These are from a doctor friend of mine, thank you Britt, who knew that I was the field surgeon in training for the group. And our environmental engineer is actually one filming this right now. He says next time he goes, he's going to wear thigh high boots. Mmm, son of a monkey, that hurts. Ow! The biggest thing is you want all of that out that you can in and around there. You have to just sort of toughen up a little bit and just get it out. And then this helps thousands of people with clean water, ironically. So now I'm going to dig some more with this pen, but like any good doctor, I'm going to clean it. The first jigger that I ever removed, I did with a nail. I regret that severely. And Ooh, this is a big one. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Are you getting that, Michael? Unfortunately. It's disgusting. Ugh. Okay, so now there's an actual pretty big hole in the end of my toe. I should probably... Hit the old dock up, huh, and have him look at it on a, like, Not a bad idea. go out for a date and then pull out my sub-Saharan. <laughs> That's how, this is how to get a husband. You, um, ask him out. In all situations. <laughs> not in all situations. It's not going to help. In some, it actually might. Ow. Michael, you're tougher than that. Mike's a very big, burly, tough dude. Operations. God, that hurts. Digging in, this. it's what hurts. I think I've seen enough of it, really, personally. No, well, I just want to make sure I've got all that old booger out. Okay, so see, that wasn't bad and long, although, I mean, I know it's gross. And now I'm going to, and I had prepped the area with alcohol, just so for you that have a jigger that need to remove it. There's still a dark spot right in there that concerns me that we have to go on a business trip real quick so I'm going to 
put band-aids on my feet and um, check on the situation later. And then I'm gonna, now I'm gonna pour some more alcohol on it. Funny too, I had one on the bottom of my foot too. It's a good time. So that's it, if you get a jigger, don't freak out um, and just, just remove them. Thank you very much.